Hello friends, welcome to our channel Creating Essence. I am Megan. Thank you so much for stopping by today. We are sharing with you a grocery haul today. What's different about today is that we have come to the realization that we need to switch to weekly shopping. For probably about a decade now, we have done bi-weekly shopping. And while this definitely saves us money, it's getting to the point where it's a waste. In short, we buy a lot of fresh produce and fresh food. We don't do much as far as shelf stable and canned foods. So a lot of it goes into our refrigerator. We do have the biggest as far as cubic feet of usable space. Uh, capacity refrigerator that you can get without it being like industrial size but there are seven of us and like I said a lot of fresh produce we've just gotten to the point where unfortunately we have to overfill our refrigerator and then we're getting stuff like fresh produce greens and things that are getting frozen in the back of the fridge constantly and then it's wasted because it, a lot of the things are inedible when they get to that point so they end up getting thrown out so it's really become a serious problem for us. We've decided to try a new strategy. We are going to do one shopping trip on our regular shopping day, but go lighter on the produce in hopes of being able to not overfill our refrigerator and have this freezing problem. We live out in the country. We have very, very limited grocery options, but we do have a Walmart that has grocery pickup. And then, do a Walmart grocery pickup on the in-between Friday, getting just the staples that we need to fill in the holes until the next grocery day. I am really interested to see how that affects our budget, if it affects our budget, and I will definitely report back and let you all know. So today for groceries, we made two stops, Costco and then Wegmans. Wegmans is just a Northeastern grocery chain that's like Kroger, Publix, uh, Harris Teeter, Fred Meyer, all that different stuff. Here's our grocery haul, big picture. Pardon the sewing stuff over there. I've been kind of on a sewing binge lately and I didn't want to put the stuff away yet. But let's get started with Wegmans. We got the big box of the spinach and spring mix because my son Aaron, who has a lot of feeding issues, really likes this and will eat it almost any time I give it to him. Just chop this up, sprinkle it with a little sea salt, and he likes it. So I always try to have one of these big boxes on hand. This is something new we saw and the kids wanted to try. The kids wanted to try. It's a lemon drop melon. I have no idea, honestly, what it is. I kind of sniffed it and pressed on it in all the places you're supposed to to check for a ripe cantaloupe since that's kind of what it looks like. So we'll see how it is. We got two bags of these large 12 inch tortillas because we like to make veggie wraps and homemade burritos and things with these. Nice big bag of grapes. And we have our garlic Tuscan bread and a little bit of nitrate free deli meat. This is our kind of Friday tradition that we can avoid fast food with and we just come home and make paninis instead. My husband needed more antacids and one of my kids broke their toothbrush. We have the big eight pound bag of ginger gold apples, a five pound bag of golden potatoes, five limes, a whole bunch of garlic heads. Got two boxes of this watermelon lime zinger. The kids really love having herbal tea in the afternoons when they get up from rest time. And this was on sale for $1.29 a box. So we got two. A gallon of organic whole milk, a jug of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, a bag of organic lemons, three pounds of nitrate free bacon, two bunches of cilantro, two bunches of green onions, big bag of tortilla chips, two pounds of whole milk mozzarella, a two pound brick of Monterey Jack cheese, and a two pound brick of Munster cheese. I got two packages of these chicken sausages for my husband. It's just chicken and spices, no preservatives, and he likes these for his lunches at work. I got a treat for my husband. The Wegmans makes a really great cold brew, and they had their special pumpkin cold brew today. So I got him a little bottle of that to surprise him. Garlic Expressions Garlic Vinaigrette, one of our favorite dressings. A bag of all-purpose flour because Annie is learning how to bake 
and she's starting with cookies. So I'm keeping a little more than usual baking supplies on hand. And then a big can of the old fashioned oats for making granola and having oatmeal. Next up is our goodies from Costco. I needed another pack of these and we have realized that the natural cleaners for the dishwasher and the store brand honestly just don't cut it. I don't know why, but it's ridiculous. We've found that these are worth the money and they were on sale $4 off at Costco. So yes. Cooper's favorite jerky treats. He is a retired service dog, but we still like to run him through his paces every now and then. And these are his big motivators. We break him into little pieces and they had them in stock today. So we grabbed them. A big box of Epsom salt two pack of mission flour tortillas. These will go in the freezer and they'll kind of be like a quick meal option when I need something in a pinch. A four pack of butter, a four pack of Kerrygold, a nice big tub of Daisy sour cream, two bags of bagels for Saturday morning bagels for tomorrow morning, two of these Mediterranean crunch chopped salad kits. I've told the story about that before. My kids love it and it gets them to eat salad. So I go with it. A two pack of queso fresco, a five pound bag of, of frozen organic peas, five pound bag of the same, but green beans. Oh, I forgot to mention some bananas from Wegmans. Golden kiwi for my husband. He realized he had never really had kiwi before, but he tried these. They're not nearly as tart and they have just as much vitamin C. So he likes it that I keep a box of these on hand for him. A big jug of organic coconut oil. I buy this about once a year and it just so happened to need stocking up today. A six pack of heads of romaine lettuce. A three pack of cucumbers. You know, it was very strange to buy cucumbers because gosh, we grew so many and had cucumbers coming out of our ears for months, but we haven't had any cucumbers for probably two months now. And I wanted cucumbers. A pack of buns for making burgers. Raffaella is my little animal lover and she saw this and she really, really wanted it. So not grocery, but we got it anyway. A bag of avocados that are, there are a couple that are not quite ready and like three that are perfect. So we will enjoy eating these right away. 10 pound bag of onions, two whole roaster chickens that are about six pounds each, a big bag of power greens. We like to use this in smoothies and for sauteing and things like that. And a 10 pound bag of organic carrots. So our total spent today was $333.60. We spent $189 at Costco and $144 plus a few cents at Wegmans. Our bi-weekly budget is $350. So we are under budget. It leaves us uh, $17 to fill in with produce next week. And hopefully we might even not need to if nothing is wasted. Things hopefully won't freeze in the back of the refrigerator because it's just packed too full. I will let you all know I might do a little a short video on whatever we need to fill in the middle, but I will let you all know. I would love to hear if you're a large family, if you realized at any point that it was time to go to weekly shopping instead of bi-weekly shopping. I'd be really interested to hear when that happens for other families. If you would like to know how I used any of these groceries, leave me a comment below and I can let you know, tell you recipes, things of that nature. And as always, my friends, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to hang out for more. We'll see you again soon.